This month's bringing a bunch of amazing titles to Game Pass, starting with the one that we've all been waiting for. Oh yeah. Houston, we have liftoff. Starfield is finally here, and it's just as big and beautiful as we hoped it would be. Bethesda's mind-boggling new action RPG takes players to an intergalactic future and lets them create their own intricately customized character, complete with their own personal backstories and skill sets. And after that, well, after that, pretty much anything can happen. You can roam free as a noble space cowboy, or track down the nicest spaceship you can find and steal it while no one's looking. Take part in chaotic zero-g gunfights and intense outer space dogfights. Meet an animal and see if it's friendly. Build guns, ships, and settlements. Make friends and enemies, join one faction and go to war with the others. And of course, hang out with a robot. There's literally a thousand locations to visit, each of them looking absolutely gorgeous, and the possibilities on each of them are pretty much endless. Naturally, we've already made a ton of videos with advice on things you should do and things you definitely shouldn't, so subscribe and ring the bell if you want help navigating the cosmos. Okay, why don't we dip back quickly to mention a few other recent Game Pass additions that you might have missed in all this excitement. Let's say you love a good Souls-like and you're not opposed to bending the truth from time to time. Well, you're going to be all over Lies of P. Pinocchio's getting a steampunk makeover in this dark fantasy adventure with an array of upgradable robot parts that the original puppet probably could have used, especially that flamethrower. As well as kicking all kinds of mechanical ass with all kinds of highly moddable weapons, Lies of P is actually going to give the players the chance to change the world around them by choosing whether to be honest or not so honest in their interactions with other characters. So if you're looking to fight some weird old timey robots or you just feel like doing some fibbing, Lies of P is coming to Game Pass day one on the 19th of September. And there's a free demo that you can check out right now. And trust me, you're going to want the demo because this game's flipping hard, man. Just like Hannibal riding a bunch of elephants across the Alps, the historical masterpiece Age of Empires 4 caught us all off guard when it came stomping onto Xbox Game Pass right at the start of Gamescom. Oh, what? You didn't hear about that? Oh, uh, surprise, I guess? Well, it's made the transition to the console world quite beautifully as well, with some cleverly reworked controls and extra mechanics like the villager priority system to help you keep your empires running smoothly. And to help you get to grips with all of the new tweaks, there's even a shiny new tutorial which takes you through all of the basics, all wrapped up in a fun little narrative campaign. So if world domination has been on your checklist for a while now, well, Age of Empires 4 is the perfect place to cross it off. As it turns out, that's not the only history lesson that Game Pass has doled out recently, with Humankind also arriving onto PC and Xbox Game Pass. This one combines up to 60 different historical cultures, and you get to progress from the ancient world all the way into modern history, where things are sure to play out differently on every single playthrough in this turn-based strategy game. And just like in life, there are tons of different ways to approach winning the game as well, from fighting epic battles to making major scientific discoveries, and everything you do adds to your fame, and the person who ends up the most famous wins. So if you want to go down in history, check out Humankind on console and PC from the 22nd. Sure, lots of games let you dip your toe into the world of fishing, but in Call of the Wild, The Angler, you'll finally get to wade right up to your knees. You're going to be absolutely soaked. There are tons of different types of fish to find and capture in this vast open world, each realistically designed to spawn in certain waters and behave in certain ways, both before and after you've hooked them, although frankly none of them are particularly chill about that. As you slowly master the art of angling, you'll be able to buy all sorts of fancy gear from rods and reels to lures, floats and hooks as you assemble the greatest fishing rig anyone ever fished with. Best of all, Call of the Wild The Angler is available now on Xbox and PC Game Pass. God, what a catch. Right, let's whip up the pace a bit. If you're all about the high-speed action of games like Ghost Runner and Sonic Frontiers, you should definitely consider giving Solar Ash a spin when it hits Xbox and PC Game Pass on September 14th. In this mind-bending adventure platforming game, you'll play as a Void Runner named Rey, who is on a mission to save her planet. To do so, she'll need to dash through a series of strange, dreamlike worlds where ancient ruins hang in the air and gravity rarely works the way you'd expect it to. Chuck in some slick neon-tinted visuals and a few incredible stylish boss fights, you've got a high-speed game that we're going to be in no rush to finish. With partying animals and paydays still to come, September is looking like one hell of a month to be a Game Pass member. So don't forget to hit the comments and tell us what you're most looking forward to. It's got to be Starfield for me though. Duh. Bye!